Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mac TV. Today, I would like to show you how to create a two-factor analog table by using calculator. Unfortunately, we could not obtain the values directly from this calculator, but we can make it simpler. Firstly, press on Move, select Statistic, choose one variable, enter all the values. We have two equal six equal three equal six equal followed by four equal equal and so for the rest of the values next press on ac followed by shift one and we should take the calculation for the variable that is four select three and we should take variance which means that press on square and all together we have 12 observations so multiply 12 press on equal and we should obtain the sum of squares for the total next press on shift one again variation this time we should get the mean value that is 2 and i'm going to store it that is press on shift recall to store and i will store to x now let's obtain the mean value for all the treatments start with opening parenthesis for the first treatment we have 2 plus 4 plus 3 closing parenthesis all together 3 observations so divided by 3 and now store it to a second treatment again opening parenthesis we have 6 plus 7 plus 5 closing parenthesis divided by 3 and we store it to b third treatment we have 3 plus 5 plus 4 and divided by 3 store it to c last treatment we have 6 plus 8 plus 4 and divided by 3 store it to d with all the values stored now let's press on mode statistic again one variable take alphabet a minus alphabet x press on equal repeat for all the values so we have alphabet b minus alphabet x equal alphabet c minus alphabet x equal alphabet d minus alphabet x equal then press on ac shift one this time we should take the summation press on three and we should take the sum of squares that is one there are three observations under each treatment so multiply three press on equal and we should obtain the sum of squares for the treatment without reset or clear the calculator let's proceed to blocks for the first blocks we have two plus six plus three plus six and this time we should divide four since four observations for each block and now shift recall to store the value to a second block four plus seven plus five plus eight and we should divide four as well shift recall store to b last block we have three plus five plus four plus four again divide four store it to c now let's press on mode statistic again one variable this time we should have alphabet a minus alphabet x equal alphabet b minus alphabet x equal alphabet c minus alphabet x equal press on ac shift one again summation sum of squares this time we should multiply four since there are four observations for each block press on equal and we should obtain the sum of squares for the blocks with these three values let's determine the sum of squares for the arrow that is total 34.25 minus treatment 20.25 minus blocks 9.5 press on equal obtain the correct value for the degree of freedom very simple since we have four treatments minus one obtain three for the blocks three blocks minus one obtain two three multiply two is six which is the degree of freedom for the arrow and now take the sum of the values and we should obtain the degree of freedom for the total for the mean square arrow Take the sum of squares 
divided by the respective degree of freedom. For example, for the treatment, we should take 20.25 divided by 3, and we should obtain the correct value. While for the error, we take 4.5 divided by 6, and we should obtain 0.75. On the other hand, for the test statistics for these treatments, we take the mean squares for the treatment, that is 6.75, and divided by the mean square error, which is 0.75. Press on equal, obtain the correct test statistic. And so for the blocks, we have 4.75 divided by 0.75. Press on equal, and we should obtain the correct value as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.